I in the morning I I say I should uh, talk a little more about um, uh, vision dreams that I have had in in the past uh, the, that I didn't know what it was about. I had some clue about it. Uh, I was not. Uh, I have never been worried about uh, spirits that have coming here because no one have taught me. I have not learned to be scared about spirits, and I'm very thankful for that. And I have not uh, been in. In a, uh, any church, uh, my father sometimes he tried to take me to a church, but he uh, he was so drunk most of the time, so it was seldom he could take me to a church, and I could uh, be there in the child group and play in inside the church. So I never come to. To learn about uh, Jesus and God and those in the Bible, I have nev- never, uh, never been taught uh, as a child. So I grew up um, clean in my brain from uh, to have learned me wrong things and been brainwashed of wrong things from my parents or or in uh, from the church i was clean from everything and i didn't even have a picture of jesus in my mind because i had not uh, i have seen him sometimes but my parents was not in the church so i don't grow up with a picture of jesus uh, the what I grew up with uh, that was very special for me that I, it was like we were talking to each other it was uh, in those uh, uh, I was in a, in a in a church uh, that is um, I, I I was so interested because they talking about uh, when they have been to India and help poor people in India, so it was, if we call it evangelist church or something like that, and uh, and in that church there there was a, this triangle with a, a, a an eye inside it, and I always was had that connection uh, that was my connection to God so it was like like you and I and that God could see me that was I was thinking about when I was a child but no one had taught me that but I was fascinated about this eye in a triangle that look at at me as I saw it like that and um, and then I, I, I wanted to talk about that uh, about this uh, my my father was a heavy drinker but he was never laying on the ground outside he was a manager for a, a insurance company that is the biggest uh, today also insurance company and um, so we he earned very much money but he was drinking uh, drinking up the money so uh, it started that my mother had to work before the it was this that uh, to show that you are wealthy was to let the mother stay home with the children. But uh, but 
my father goes so very drunk, so my mother have to start uh, in at the hospital, uh, and she was selling uh, magazines and, and candies and these things, and I love to be uh, visit her in the hospital uh, after school. Um, because I could read all the magazines, the new magazines. There was Donald Duck and those cartoons. And then I, I got some uh, candies that they couldn't sell that start to be old. And then I got that. So I, I, I love that because I, I get like attention and then my brother and sister that was so very evil to me they were never there so that was my quiet a quiet uh, moment and uh, I was reading uh, or look in into these magazines um, and then uh, my mother took me to the library. She borrowed very much books. Uh, and I learned to be on, in the library and borrow books and read books. I read very much books. Uh, and then uh, when I got my own children, I, I learned them to go to the library. If they didn't have something fun to do, then go to the library. There is also fun to do, uh, uh, read the books there. So that, that my children have also learned. So when God um, in 2000, he changed these things with books. So I... I can't read a book anymore. I can read a little, a little text, but I can't read, read uh, many pages. I can maybe hardly read one page. But that was what God did to me because he didn't want me to read old, old, old stuff. He wanted uh, me to here in the air and hear what he was talking about today and for the future and not what's going on in the past. That is uh, like uh, knowing the, the Old Testament and the New Testament is like a foundation, but it's not everything. Uh, and that that is also that yeah, Jesus told his disciple that he had much more to tell them, but he didn't tell them, and he didn't tell us. So there is much more to know than what Jesus was talking about, and he told told us that he was going to his father and. He, he was going to ask his father to send helper uh, to us. So uh, Jesus prepared uh, very much for, for us uh, later on when we're leaving this planet and uh, go to heaven. Uh, and he had prepared things there. But he also prepared us to tell us that he had not said everything. There was more to, to know and learn. And that's where I continue, where Jesus stopped and telling. Because it was not time for that. When he lived here on earth, it's... Um, people couldn't understand it because they have not come so far 
as we have. Uh, we know so, so much more than what they did for, for 2,000 years ago. And, and what I wanted to say is this also that I maybe not uh, clearly told you uh, in the morning that because of my my father was drinking heavy and my mother uh, she was on her own with three children small children and a husband that was like a, a big child so she had four children and no one to help her and uh, so she started to take nerve pills and then she be addicted to uh, medical prescription prescription drugs and she walk uh, from doctor to doctor and the doctor didn't know that she had been to another doctor before she come to this doctor and they, they write her all kind of medicines and we had, and in when i was in the teens that uh, my mother go crazy sometimes she was really really crazy and she she was screaming to take her to the mental hospital and uh, we had very much problem with her because she was so full of drugs and so uh, it it make me uh, i was sitting inside the home and i didn't want to go out i was frightened about everything because my brother and sister have scared me about most everything uh, they don't it didn't scare me about uh, ghost like that uh, but they could uh, leave me alone in the darkness when we were playing and then they closed the door so I was standing in the dark total darkness like that but they, they never uh, never um, scare me about spirits things I, I suppose God stopped that because I should not be scared about it or else I could not have this connection with them as I have today so what I wanted to say but I forget it in the morning to really clearly for you to understand that because of my parents uh, I, I have not wanted to take any any medicine strong medicine if it's not necessary uh, but uh, I started about when I was 50 years old to try to have to uh, must have medicine for my blood pressure and I think I, I only have for high blood pressure that I had early in life uh, but these other things have coming after I I was in the United States and started to get psoriasis in uh, 2001 when I was in the United States because of, I was so scared uh, in the beginning before I come to understand that I had help that I didn't see, but they helped me in in heaven, from heaven. And so, I wanted to tell you that I I, I can take an aspirin in the morning, but then I don't take any aspirin, and I don't have headache. I don't need it. I have a little pain, but I have been used to have pain in my body so that's nothing for me I can 
I can live with a, a little pain in my body. And uh, when I broke my shoulder in, in three pieces uh, and had very much pain, I got uh, drugs of the doctor, but they uh, gave me uh, such drugs that doesn't help for, for my pain. I still had the pain, so I stopped to take them. And the doctor was so worried that I should be addicted to very strong medicine that they gave me when I had this broken uh, before it was healed, uh, this broken shoulder and I, my, my right knee was also broken and uh, I have lots of pain but I let it be uh, and I knew it after after the storm it never lasts forever so the sun I knew the sun is coming later on and uh, I had much pain for about a month and I couldn't sleep and I sit on a chair and uh, and was sleeping in the night I couldn't lay down because it was so much pain when I was laying down and I could survive that so I don't take any any painkiller or a nurse pill or something like that because uh, with God I I know today that I have my family in heaven and uh, I have friends in heaven uh, I don't have any friends here on earth and I don't have uh, my family my daughter try sometimes to to come and visit me but she visit me about three four times a year and and she don't stay overnight so she's here maybe two three hours then she have to to go home and she, she have no car so she don't have no drive license so she have to go with the train and bus so she have to leave early from from me so uh, but i know i have i'm going to light light a lamp in, in my in my room where i'm sitting uh, because it starts to be dark it's uh, a late evening uh, but I continue to talk. I'm going very fast to turn on the light. Um, so you know that I don't, I don't use. Uh, I was on my way to to be like my father. I was drinking very much, but in the last minute. I could stop it and no one helped me of course no one have helped me I have to help myself all the time and when I was child I I had so much pain I was not pain I was so worried about everything I didn't want to go to school and I was not I couldn't sleep in the night because my father come home drunk and he wanted me to sit and hear him talking in the night and so the school was terrible and uh, I was uh, uh, my brother had scared me about water and we had had to go uh, take a bath uh, in the swimming pool once a week and I was so frightened about it so I have uh, migraine 
I get very much headache as a child. And, um, and I had it twice in a week, this. But no one helped me. I have to help myself. It, uh, it could happen that my mother uh, break uh, aspirin uh, and put sug sugar in it, uh, in a spoon and, and gave me. But uh, most of the time I have to uh, find the aspirin by myself and take it. And then I find out that if I go out on the balcony, uh, if I sit outside, even if it was winter time and lots of snow, I, I, I walk out and I sit on the chair and have a blanket, a thick blanket on me when it was winter time. And then I was sleeping outside for two, three hours and I, I come to understand it left me the migraine in that way. So I didn't need to take aspirin. So, uh, so I want to talk something else. Uh, um, my question is still uh, this. Why did God told me in Jerusalem 2016 to make my DNA? And um, uh, one part that I understand that the DNA uh, is showing me these spirits that is coming here because uh, those spirits that is coming and talking to us, they are related to me. That's my ancestors that is coming. Because I understand it now that uh, the silver cord is not broken. So we have this cord between us. So they coming here. Uh, so... And uh, then uh, the second thinking is that that uh, it show up that I was royal, and uh, and God is is talking about the royals in the Bible that uh, we are His, like uh, we are children, children of royals or king like that uh, and it's maybe have something with that to do but then it's also that ex it explain why I, I my my uh, silver cord my DNA is going down uh, t uh, uh, down to Adam's ribs uh, what is, they call Adam's ribs is when the first first uh, people on earth, Adam and Eve, uh, it's going down uh, to to them, and uh, Abraham and everyone, uh, all his prophets, and uh, then uh, both on on my mother and father's side, it's Jewish, and they are rabbis, rabbi, rabbi. Not the animal, <laughs> rabbi, uh, and um, and uh, many uh, of my mother's line because they have lots of money, they could start churches and start uh, their own belief system. Uh, so that's I have not could um, know it if I have not done the DNA. So. Uh, but I still, it's a spirit here, and uh, uh, maybe to uh, this evening or in the night or another day, I will get a real answer because it's like 
in pieces is uh, not coming together this understanding why God told me to do DNA because it have not helped me anything in my work uh, for God so far uh, it stays uh, with the spirit to understand this with the, with the spirits that have we got to do but it feel like there is more but maybe is it only me that want to know more why because it have not helped me to to find anyone that is uh, uh, powerful enough to could change the world together with me uh, that a uh, person that believe in in what I'm saying and what what I have done and uh, that understand that I'm t- telling the truth and they have the power with the money and uh, that they have people in a network that make an effect of this world I love I love you my listener but but I don't I don't see it but maybe there is someone that have that power that going to listen at this podcast one day or today I don't know and to, today, uh, uh, before I started this recording, I I watch on on television, and uh, I have seen it before. But in that time, uh, before uh, I was not so interested uh, like I was now because they were talking about my relatives, my and sisters. Because it was about the royal families and the Nazis, the Hitler, uh, about their uh, existence and relationship, if they have some relationship. And, and I want to know more about that. And it's, it was... About George the fifth, the king of uh, England, he could have helped helped Alexander the uh, second in Russia, the the Tsar family that was killed. Uh, that he um, Alexander the uh, second have asked. Uh, George the fifth, if he could come to England and escape uh, to be killed of the Russian, uh, this uh, that took over the communist uh, that took over and uh, wanted to kill the royals to to uh, get the power, and uh, but he didn't do that, so. In that way, George the Fifth killed Alexander the Second and his, if it was five, five children and wife, and uh, and uh, they were cousins, so they, it was not that they they didn't know each other that they were not related. They were related, so. Uh, we uh, we should not judge the the this what happened because it was very much going on. It was uh, hidden agendas uh, between those um, royals in Europe. Uh, Queen Elizabeth. If it was England's, I think it was Queen Elizabeth the first that had nine 
uh, nine uh, of her f- closest family w- was king uh, royals in Europe. Nine countries had from her. Uh, and so they uh, that I have talked about that all royals in Europe is related to each other. They are cousins. And um, and they were talking in uh, in this documentary about uh, uh, our king's uh, uh, grand uh, our king that we have now in Sweden. His mother come from Germany, and uh, she married. Uh, uh, the, the Swedish king or prince maybe in that time and in 1932 just the year before Hitler uh, come to the top um, in the political and then it was this uh, tragedy in Belgium this uh, uh, there, if he was prince or king, no, he was king because his father had just died uh, when he married a Swedish princess Astrid, and uh, and sadly she was killed in a car accident, uh, and so in a short time, Belgium had. Uh, very sad, uh, sad uh, time. They lost their queen in a car accident, and uh, Leopold III and Astrid, and they have, I think they had two children, one boy and one, one uh, daughter together. So that. Uh, and she was very beautiful. When I, uh, when I was a child, my mother had, without knowing that she was related to them, but my, my mother loved these royals without knowing she was royal, my mother, uh, that uh, she collected about royals. And one of these magazines that she she collected and kept uh, it was about Astrid that it was a, a, a magazine that was only about her uh, how she uh, grew up here in Sweden and then she married a Belgian King Leopold the third and then she she crashed with a car up in the mountain, I think it was. And it was a picture of her as uh, a dead in her. Um, and it was amazing for me because she was so, so beautiful also. Um, so uh, it's, uh, I understand it. it it was hard for for the royal family here in Sweden because first it was uh, the the king ha- uh, was married to to Germ- a German a noble princess and then uh, also that. Uh, I know it because of my DNA that that they had a close relationship to Russia also. Uh, so it was it was a little split in Sweden, and Sweden was never in the the world Second World War. Sweden was neutral it says but uh, they allowed 
the German uh, troops to to take the train uh, in Sweden and and go up to Norway up to the north to take this special wa water for the bombs that um, up in the north Norway it's um it's amazing because so f far up in the north they have water that never be frozen because it uh, it says like heavy water and uh, I, I know that is the Mexican Gulf Stream it's uh, going from Texas and going under the water and then it's coming up here in, uh, in Sweden and warm up our coast so that's why it's not so cold as people think it should be here in Sweden it should be very cold but it doesn't as the the Gulf Stream is coming up here in Sweden and so the, the Nazis they used that to take this special water up in the North Norway and Sweden allowed them to pass by drive here into Sweden and up to Norway and and the the Nazist leaders they were visiting the royal family also so it's very hard for us to to understand everything but to know this uh, the connection between them and then uh, it was this Mussolini was very much into manipulate and uh, but in uh, in the same time with uh, like a relationship in many relationships is this who is the real uh, victim sometimes both are <coughs> uh, both have have some sort of agenda and the the, the royals uh, because of the, this uh, tur turbulation in uh, Russia and then Hitler was coming and um, they have lost their their power the royals and and they wanted to take get it back and that was they were playing on uh, the Nazis first until they got all the papers that uh, could take over everything of what they wanted and then they didn't need to have the royals anymore but the royals was thinking that they should come back to the power but they have never get any power the royals after the second world war they are like the royals is very good uh, because they do very much commercial for that country they res represent when they are uh, traveling around in the world they are um, very powerful tool in uh, dipl diplomacy uh, between uh, political things uh, so they do a great job in that it's uh, I understand the commercial and that is not that I have say before I did my DNA before I knew I was 
uh, royal and uh, because I, I understand I see things in another way than than what most people do and I knew I know how much they do in commercial for a country to sell a product uh, and the royal is coming together with this product and and visit the country and they sell it uh, sell the product because of the royal is there with them so you have waiting for me maybe to talk about vision uh, and uh, first uh, I wrote in May 2016 uh, that uh, I get some spirits in my home and uh, both my my dog react uh, and uh, my dog uh, react on, on the spirit that come but he, he didn't he was not scared he was uh, going first uh, to that uh, spirit about uh, in that direction the spirit come and then he go to me and uh, look at me what should we do now so he was not scared and um, and I told you about this with my cat and when I when I had got him he didn't go in to one in my living room for two or three days because he, he saw someone he saw a spirit in that room uh, but after a while he he come in into that room but the, the three first uh, days he was never in there he uh, he go away from that uh, opening in the room uh, go far from it uh, and uh, then I find today when I, I read this um, page I have done for to collect all these visions of what happened in the spirit way uh, it's a, a prophecy from 2000 uh, till today or something it's uh, the name of the page and it was in December to 2011 it was for 11 years ago almost and uh, I didn't know that I felt like that uh, that I was very longing for heaven and I felt like there was no value to be here uh, on on this planet be in the world and uh, I feel already there for 11 years ago I, I felt like I didn't belong to this world um, and then I, I'm talking about uh, the feeling uh, uh, when I started I had already been up to heaven a few times and I was this uh, feeling to be uh, to be not on earth and uh, not really coming into heaven but between there between heaven and uh, earth it's like um, it's feeling of uh, to be here and now nothing is nothing have exist in the past and nothing is on its way in the future it's it's a feeling to be here and now 
it was in that time before I come into heaven. And uh, I was in the beginning, I start uh, in the night, I got this, uh, that I was uh, laying in, uh, in the air. I was not lifted up to heaven and I was not in my bed. I was between in the air. And I, I, I thought it was very fun to, I was like, they were training me to, could sit in the air. I took up, up my legs and then I could sit for a long time in the air. So those uh, spirits that was visiting me in the beginning, they, they trained me to be in the spirit because I couldn't be sit in the air if I was not in the spirit because I had to leave my body in that way I walk around here on earth. I had, I had my legs with me, but they, they were not useful for me, more than to lay them under me when I was sitting like, you know, in a Buddha is sitting like that sometimes, with the legs under him, um, in the picture. And uh, then it was um, a spirit come to me in December 2011. And uh, she was uh, uh, like she, uh, she was, um, I didn't really see her, but uh, she uh, shoot out, she cast out a star that was blue-green. And you know this uh, turquoise uh, color that was the mother of everything, the spirit, the beginning of everything. She had this turquoise. And uh, this spirit uh, shoot out cast out the stars that was blue green and then when she she did that uh, I saw that uh, those stars was many cute babies it's and it's uh, uh, the the stars uh, become to be like a heart in the air I saw that and uh, and I read something very special in in this post that I I, I read uh, on Facebook uh, that was uh, for 11 years ago and I I, I before she, uh, she was leaving me I said to her that this spirit, I say to her, can you give me a picture, uh, your most loved picture? I say to her, uh, because I, 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 I don't, I didn't really want her to, to leave me. And um, I wanted to continue because it was so nice. And um, but she didn't answer me in that, so I turned around and uh, started to try to fall to sleep. Uh, I was awake uh, when this, uh, with the stars, I saw them. I was awake, I was not sleeping. Uh, so I turned around in my bed and tried to fall to sleep, but then uh, just when uh, when I was prepared to fall to sleep, uh, she opened a door in the air 
and uh, out from that door uh, come a man and, and I didn't know what it was uh, uh, I, I read here I on my notes I, I asked her to send picture to tell me who she was so that that was the answer that she opened the door and into my room come a man and he he had a, a cowboy hat on and he was in uh, uh, brownish clothes like camel hair clothes and he was he was tall he was not thick he was only a big tall and uh, and then he uh, come to to my bed and then he took my body and he hugged me and hugged me and hugged me uh, and I felt so much love and uh, and then I fall to sleep and uh, uh, there the real thing is that uh, for maybe three days ago, I uh, I look at uh, at my family tree and uh, it's like this um, uh, artificial intelligent of AI. Uh, computer system they built up the my DNA and connect me with people that I don't know yet uh, I have not find them yet but they uh, they make it so I see those people and then I can write them in into my family tree so for three days ago I'd be surprised that I was related on my mother's side of John, John Wayne, the cowboy. He was playing, uh, he was the star that uh, he uh, uh, wrote it up. Um, he died in 1979 and uh, he was in the cowboy that was he was most uh, famous for to be the cowboy in this wild west movies and and i understand today it was he that was coming in into my home uh, he passed away 1979 and this was 2011 so uh, it fit into him very well. Uh, he was uh, so. So it's um, coming. It will come more and more t that I understand about what had been showing me in visions in in the past and. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking about that when I was eight years old and and I get the first vision that I remember about that I saw in the air a thick book and in that book was it many people it was like a dictionary with lots of people and I knew that I should be in that book one day. I, I, I was thinking about that when I was uh, thinking about John Wayne that it, uh, it reveals now very much what have going on in the past and um, with the, the book I maybe uh, get another answer, but for me it's the answer 
uh, why I saw that when I was eight years old. It uh, was uh, I w- was written into the book of life that I have been thinking about. But maybe is it something more than that? Uh, in the same feeling I have about why God told me to do my DNA. And uh, as I I say most of the time, time, time will tell. Time will always tell what, uh, what was sa- said uh, in the past. And the future will show us uh, the truth, the real truth. So thank you for listening. I'm going to look at all all the visions I have got, and that's many. So I can't. Uh, I can only take some few every year in one episode, and then it will be many episodes about it. I think. Because uh, much have happened in my life. And I know why also today. So thank you for listening. And I hope you continue to listen to my podcast. And come to understand things for yourself. For your life. For the plan God has for your life. I hope... I make you understand your life, your plan. Thank you. God loves you and I love you too.